Hello everyone out here in Cyberville. It is now time for another episode of Diecast North Galactic Hooligan. And I really want to be appreciative of every single one of you that subscribed to me. Now I'm actually at 112 subscribers. Oh, no, 113 subscribers now. I am super appreciative of you all. Thank you so much. Uh, right now, I just want to give a quick shout out to new subscriber, Newbie Comics. Also, Patriot Prime Reviews, who you all know is actually like one of the greatest, uh, once one of the greatest um, reviewers here on YouTube and everything, who has also hit his own 6,000 subscribers. Congratulations to you, Patriot Prime. I really only hope to actually follow in some of those footsteps one day or something, you know? My channel's actually still growing, and it's actually like making a slow crawl, but I'll actually get there soon enough. We actually have also uh, Regen Munchausen, we have Gangsta Hippo, James Ganaway, um, James Ganaway, Jamie Rios, and Paul uh, Carnegie, both a mar uh, both married couple. Um, James Ganaway and uh, Jamie Rios and Paul are actually friends of mine from my old school and everything, so thank you very much for joining me, guys. Um, <clears throat> also, the amazing DJ Showcase, he's actually joined me also and everything like that. I'm really, really super stoked for you to join me and everything also. Also, Sheena Witt, Jessica Alba, who also has like a YouTube channel. And uh, she's actually like great. She's actually like making like a lot of like graphic tees and everything like that. She's awesome. Also, Alejandro Hernandez, also another dear friend of mine. All of you guys actually count each and every one of you people. Uh, even each and every one of you people that I know, people that I don't know. Thank you so much for joining me and everything. And again, if anything, please give me a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, comment. Everything counts here on YouTube, and it actually helps me in my in my growth and everything. And I really want to like actually grow this channel into something really good out there and everything. And I appreciate you all again. Thank you so much. And um, also, I just wanted to live like leave like the quick PSA. I really feel strongly about this and everything. Everybody, be a hero. Wear a mask. You know, right now we're actually still going through COVID and everything like that right now, and I just really want to support our ability to get rid of this thing once and for all, and it's actually shown that each and every one of us actually contributing to our part and wearing a mask for like at least a, while, a little while and everything like that. It's not that long of a, to go or anything. We should actually smash this pandemic down as much as possible, and it would be appreciated. I would actually appreciate it, and also, I think, People who actually are immune compromised and everything like that would actually appreciate it also. We should actually be heroes. Protect ourselves, protect others. So be a hero, wear a mask. And right now, I'm going to come to you with like, I'm going to give you a brand new review, uh, slavishly done from the 80s. This is actually Earthrise uh, Double Dealer. I'm actually really happy that I actually found him and everything like that. You know, he's actually kind of like been like one of those needles in the haystack and everything like that. So like, again, super stoked to actually get this guy on my channel and we'll start the review. Again, thanks for joining me. Okay, and I'm back. And me, oh my, things have actually been really, really looking up for me for like the last couple of weeks and everything. I am super stoked with everything that's actually been going on. I fell in love. It's actually been wonderful and I couldn't have actually met anybody better. She's amazing. So I just wanted to get that out there and everything like that just in case like you'll actually see me uh, dwindling every so often and everything like that. Promise not to like actually... Um, move away from like doing this as much or anything like that because I want to create like keep my creative endeavors going and everything like that she's super supportive of everything that I'm actually doing also remember if you ever find love and everything like that make sure that you find someone who will actually like support your insanity and everything you know and that's really kind of like one of the most important things and everything so without any further ado I'm actually going to give you double dealer he is pretty interesting and slavishly done from the 80s and everything. But first off, I'm going to check out this box and everything because, like, I really kind of, like, really am enamored with this box art here and everything of Double Dealer. Is he an Autobot? 
Is he a Decepticon? Only he knows. He's actually supposed to be kind of like a mercenary. Like, if you actually, like, look up the Wikipedia entry for him and everything like that, he is actually, like, kind of like a mercenary. I'd like to think of him as a character who kind of, like, has actually been undercover too long that he doesn't know what he's fighting for anymore. So that's kind of like a, that would actually be like a really interesting storyline for him and everything. But this box art is beautiful. Of course, we actually still have the Siege, uh, we actually still have the, uh, Siege, uh, Earthrise, uh, thing over here and everything like that, the poster art and everything like that, which is great. We have already seen what we're actually getting with RC. I really want to get her in hand just because I want to, like, take a closer look into, like, what she's actually going to become and everything. Um, so far, not excited and also kind of excited about things that are actually going on with her and everything like that. So I just can't wait to have her in hand. And let's take a quick look at this. This is everything that he actually becomes and everything like that. I really love this mode. This rocket launcher mode is actually pretty interestingly cool. <clears throat> just let me give you like a really good look at this like all that detail and everything like that. And like I said before, Hasbro and Takara has actually been really knocking it out of the park when it actually comes down to like these older designs that they're actually revamping for the 2020s and everything. Like just very cool. I'm not exactly sure if I'm actually feeling as though he actually deserves the, the leader price point and everything like that. But like as far as, sorry for shaking the camera guys and girls, but as far as like a leader class and everything like that, like. I guess, you know, like, he kind of, like, really matches up here. Just let me bring him into camera. He kind of, like, matches up here with Ultra Magnus here and everything, you know? Uh, there we go. These are the scale of both leader classes and everything. So, like, that's actually very cool. I, like, in robot mode, you'll actually see, like, a lot more of both of them kind of, like, matching up size for size. And... I'm actually feeling as though they're actually kind of like following on like kind of like more of a uh, parts count here and everything. I really love this. <clears throat> I kind of like feel like maybe we could have actually had a little bit more done over here on like certain wheel parts and everything like that. Like maybe, I don't know, like I, I'm thinking that this might be like a little bit more plain than anything else, you know? But you'll actually notice he actually has ports all over him that supports 5 millimeter ports and everything, which is actually very nice. We actually have, like, this backdrop right over here that, like, kind of, like, you can actually, hold on, just let me focus. Drop this down. And everyone's figure is actually going to vary because, like, this piece of mine keeps on popping off and everything. But once you actually drop that down, you can actually kind of, like, load your rocket right up here and everything and like even though you actually kind of like see his face there and everything you know there's no like <clears throat> real way of hiding that face or anything like that unless you're actually in like in like uh eagle mode you actually have this rocket launcher here that's just great i really love the way that looks there and everything you know and like as far as the rocket itself is actually concerned it's actually really really cool really well sculpted I love all of this. Also, you actually have like a lot of five millimeter ports all over this also and everything. So you can actually add like a lot more in the way of play value and everything like that to it, you know? And you'll actually notice he actually does come with like a lot of weapons. Oh, and with this, you can actually just like bring this out and bring this out to like actually have stabilizers for the back while he's actually in rocket mode and just tilt this up and there you go, you know? That's actually very cool. I love this. I love, like I said before, like all the slavish like details that you actually get in this and everything like that is just great. He also comes with <clears throat> a little rocket launcher. Oh, let's see, you have your rocket launcher, you have your radar detail, you actually have like your side mounted missiles and everything like that, another laser gun, you know? That's very cool. As of this moment, this reviewer hasn't gotten the um, the expansion packs for him or anything like that, which is was uh, Rumble. I think uh, came into it uh, the blue fi the blue figure uh, like and whatever you guys actually say, he's actually going to be Ryan Rumble once I actually get him in hand. But that set 
was actually supposed to come with like a few other pieces that you could actually add on to us. As I'm actually going into this review, I'll actually show you a little bit more of what they're actually supposed to do. In fact, I'm showing what he's actually going to be able to do. This one transformation that I'm actually gonna take you into, I'm gonna actually gonna do it right here on film at this juncture. And then when I'm actually going into robot mode, I'll actually take you away to stage B and then come back over here to stage A. And then we'll actually continue a look into the robot mode. But for right now, I'm going to remove this part. There's like a little bit of parts forming in this, but on this figure himself, I don't really think I actually mind it as much. We're gonna just put that to the side. We're going to take this. And one thing I'm gonna note is like, when you're actually going into robot mode in this, you, it's actually kind of better to actually have the weapons in hand and move them up just a bit. Because if you're actually moving it from the back over here, you're actually kind of like stressing your fingers out a lot and everything. I know they actually left it like, they actually left like a good indent in here to like actually keep the hands in and everything like that. But like what I found is that if you actually use the weaponry just to move them just a bit, you're actually fine. But for now, I'm just going to take these and move them off. Take this and move it off also. <clears throat> And we're also going to remove the rocket itself. And what we're actually gonna do from here is change him into eagle mode. And I don't really think he actually looks more like an eagle, more like kind of like maybe a buzzard than anything else. But we're actually going to move these back wheels up and click them right against here. And do the same on the other side. We're going to take this piece I'll dislodge it from here and you'll actually notice this cavity opening I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a bit now we're actually going to come to the back where the wings are we're going to move them up and out up and out again and there go the wings that's actually very cool I really like the way that looks you know now we're just going to take this move this up and that's where the eagle's head is actually going to be lodged all we want to do is like move this, bring this up. You'll actually notice double dealer's head is actually right there, but this is the only time that you're actually going to uh, like uh, seal his head into the cavity of the bot itself and everything. So you're actually doing a 360 turn, uh, 180 turn right over here. And then you're going to close the back. You'll actually have a notch right over here that goes right in here. There we go. Turn the head just a bit. And then you're elongate it along the throat right over here. You know, like the throat piece is actually like lodged right into a part of the uh, right into a part of the mandible right over here, and that's actually pretty cool. I like the way that actually worked. Then dislodge from here and here, and then you're going to accordion inside until you actually get this black piece right in here. So just keep on doing that. And there are going to be a couple of places where it actually locks in and everything. Because you actually want to bring this right over here. And there we go. And then there should actually be a couple of pieces right in here that should actually connect. Um, yeah. There we go. You're actually trying to connect to this piece right over here. And then you're actually connecting this piece to right in here. So... Just let me bring that in. And once you actually have a cool, so like a good solid connection, all you just want to do is just peg it in and do the same on this side. They're kind of fiddly, you know, and you just want to be able to do that and then just like recombine the back piece over here also. So there we go. Then recombine everything back here. Try to get everything all aligned and uh, like i said before it's actually kind of like a very like it's a chore kind of to, like actually get everything like all set but once you actually do there we go you'll actually see like a better solid connection and everything you know then we actually take this canopy piece move it up rotate this and then just connect this 
right in here like this. So there'll actually be a separation on this hinge. There we go. And then once you're actually done with that, you're almost through. All you have to do is bring the feet down and then go on the other side and bring the feet down again. And you're almost done with your eagle mode. Now, all you have to do is just like make a couple of connections right over here on the rocket, bring that here. And this piece will actually connect right here. So not over here in this connection here, but right over here in this juncture. So all you wanna do is connect it. And that should actually like support the tail wings once you actually get that in. There we go. Oh, didn't get the other side, so let's let me try again. There we go. Had to look a little bit off the camera and everything like that just so I could actually get that. And just put in these rear struts. And there you go, you have eagle mode. After you're actually done with eagle mode, you can actually put these weapons any place you actually like. I like to make sure that my rocket launchers are on the sides. There we go. And I'll actually add my radar detail right underneath the breastplate. And I'll actually put this here as like his alternate gun, like in, in this robot mode. And that's actually very cool, actually. I love everything about this. It's boxy, but it's nice, you know? So let me just go over here. I love the wingspan on this guy. That's actually very cool. I really think that this is actually like a very, very cool bot mode and everything like that, a very cool beast mode, you know? Now, on my double dealer, you'll actually notice, uh, like, I don't know how much this is prevalent along with the other double dealers out there, but I actually had to go through a lot of like uh, fixing and like just trying to make sure that like I tightened all the joints and everything like that. So look out for that, everybody. All of your um, all of your buying experiences will actually be very different from another and everything. But um, this guy actually had like a lot of tolerance issues, and I actually had to go into it with my kikis and just try to fix it up and everything like that. So like I'm actually thinking <clears throat> floor polish or kikis should actually do it. But again, we will actually bring him in with like Ultra Magnus here, still in like uh, still in his uh, alternate mode, and there we go. Very cool. I really like the way that looks and everything like that. And as far as like an 80s rivalry and everything like that, I really like that a lot, you know? So there we go. He's the, the like, I love this. Like, I don't really know if that's the head of like, say an eagle. He kind of looks like an eagle. I can actually see the eagle details here and everything like that. I really feel like he looks more like a buzzard. You actually have like the articulation right over here. He can actually look up. He can actually look down. He actually has like wings. And I love the ratchets that they actually put on the wings. Like you actually hear that, that's actually great. He actually has this articulation right over here. He <clears throat> has this wing articulation right over here also. He can't pull his, like, his wing all the way down. But if you actually do this, I don't know, like you'll actually get some animation detail. I'm pretty sure like a lot of you are actually talented enough to like actually animate this. And that's actually cool. He actually has like a bend right over here at his foot and I mean at his leg and his foot right over here actually like has like a lot of flexion and dorsi and everything like that. So that's actually very cool. So there's a lot this guy actually has going on. Yeah, I know he's actually pretty wonky as far as like an eagle is actually concerned, but I really appreciate that and everything, you know, coming from like, say like the 80s, oh, the 80s brand toy and everything, which 
I'm actually going to look up some uh, some information on the internet and everything like that to show you and everything like that what he actually used to look like uh, as far as like that's concerned. You actually have to really, really enjoy like everything that this guy actually brings and everything as far as like the details and everything that he actually had back then to now, you know? Very, very nice. I really love that. So without further ado, I'm actually going to take you into robot mode. And once I'm actually done with that, I'll be back here and then we'll uh, continue taking a look into this guy. Oh, one more thing I wanted to like actually tell you about. So like you actually have this right over here. Now I know that he's actually supposed to be a part of like God Master Force over in Japan and everything. And like over here, I'm not sure if he was actually a part of the Power Masters or anything like that. But he actually had something where I'm just going to bring Soundwave in for a like, not just comparison or anything like that, but just to show you exactly what he does. So I'm actually going to steal Ravage from him for a little while. And he could actually like, I don't have like any of the cassette figures that he should have actually had or anything like that. But you can actually put Ravage like right under here. There you go, and set him in. And he's actually supposed to be like a partner that you can actually take along for a ride. There is one character that's actually supposed to be a bat and then another that's actually like an auto, like a robot. So like from what I'm actually understanding, the bat's actually supposed to be like more his Decepticon side. So that's what he'll actually use this for. And for robot mode and everything, he actually gets the more bot mode version of this. And then I'll show you exactly how that actually works out. But I think that's actually very cool, kind of like makes me interested in getting those other figures and everything like that all together, which I'm actually really, really contemplating because uh, those guys are actually pretty great. And just for like the add-on and everything, like I almost feel like this guy isn't really complete unless he actually has those other add-ons and everything. You know, call me silly, but like that's how I am right now. Um, but again, I'm just gonna give you, I'm just gonna bring you into uh, robot mode and I'll be right back. All right, bringing Double Dealer here from his hawk, from his uh, eagle mode into his robot mode is actually really cool. And it's actually not hard at all or anything like that. Like if you actually follow certain of like the way it actually works, he's actually great. So first off, we're actually gonna start off by <clears throat> removing this, the rocket pad right from the back we're going to go over here and I'm actually going to use this to cheat for a little bit and everything like that. So all I'm gonna do is use this to like open up the hands. There we go. And we're actually gonna do this on the other side. I guess I'm actually just like kind of like using this as a key to like actually opening up those ports right over there. So what you wanna do is just put the feet in to the sides and you'll do the same on the other side. Then we'll, I guess I'm just going to take this and this right over here. Oh, and also remove the rocket pads on the sides that I posted right over here. There we go. Remove one of the rocket pads and we'll remove the next. And then take off his radar detector. Put that all on the side. And now you're actually ready to transform him. So we'll start off by closing his mouth, putting his head into the inside right over here. So you'll actually have that configuration. Then we'll actually start moving his wings. We'll bring that in like this, like that. And we'll actually, oh, we'll take that off. We'll move this up and then Put that right back over here, right where it actually belongs. Then we will split the legs and start extending them down. Let's see. There we go. They actually accordion out, and then you actually want to rotate them 180 until you actually have this. So take the legs. Take them off the peg that's actually from the inside over here. Then move the whole entire leg down until you actually get them out from where it was actually connected right over here on that black pin. 
Then rotate them 180. There we go. And now just bring the feet in. Now you'll actually have your feet. And then all you wanna do from there is just rotate them right like so. Then you've got your feet all done. Second, you're actually gonna bring the arms all the way back. Like that. They'll actually connect really solidly once you're actually done there. Then <clears throat> we'll actually open up the back. We'll rotate his whole entire head section where the eel head will actually be in the back now and then just reconnect that right over here and that peg will actually connect. We'll bring this down for now, just like that. Then, before we do that, we'll actually make sure that the wings are actually inside. One, let's see, the left side <clears throat> will actually come all the way in. You can actually put these tail wings, I put these wings, all part of the wings, right up in here. And you actually wanna do the same. Oh, I'm sorry, do it on the right side. So that's the way it'll actually fit in. It'll fit in right side first and then left side. There you go. And then after that, all you wanna do is dislodge his arms, rotate them, bring the hands out, and there you go. You can actually set that down for now. So do the same on the other side. Disconnect it right from here. There'll actually be a pin that actually, a uh, peg that actually connects right in here to his forearm. <clears throat> Swivel it around. And then all you wanna do is bring his head, his hand out, and then connect his chest all the way over here. Now you'll actually notice a couple of pegs that are actually right over here and a couple of peg holes right there. So just do that. And the rest of it is pretty much just connecting everything the way you actually want. So you actually have this tail fin. Now, usually I would tend to think that you could actually put this over here like this and then just like connect these two right over to this port. What I actually found was that when you actually did that, when you actually put the rocket like right into his shoulder, it tends to lift a little bit because of these two pegs right over here. So as an alternate, I'd actually rather suggest <clears throat> bringing that up and then just bringing his tail down and you'll actually notice that like sometimes it'll actually want to lift out. It's actually really easy to put it back in and everything all together. So do this and then just like twist the back ports into this configuration and then just connect these two pegs right into here. So you'll actually notice that there are a couple of ports right over here. You can actually see right through it. All you want to do is just put it right into the underside and there you go. So you'll actually have this so far. Then all you want to do is take the rocket and split it. One side will actually become his gun. The other one will actually be a rocket. There you go. And you can actually have him hold his gun. And then whatever you actually want to do with everything else, like I usually like to put the rocket pads right on his legs, have his radar detail on one of his shoulders, like so. And just have this extra gun right on his arm. And I think that looks great. And then there goes Double Dealer in his robot mode. He's super, super impressive. I'm gonna take you back over to stage A and we'll finish checking this guy out. Okay, and here we are. Double Dealer in his full robot mode. I really love this a lot. Like, I'm actually really not even lying about that at all or anything like that. Like, this guy is just great. I love his stockier details and everything like that, you know? Like, I think he's actually so cool. Like, all his, like, all of his details here. Like, this guy, I love, I've always loved that bluish face right there and everything like that. That blue face with the red eyes and everything like that. Always made for, like, the one of the greatest combinations and everything. You know, you actually have his Autobot faction symbols right over there. You'll actually have like his grill details. Like 
his rocket actually turned into like a pistol and that's actually such like a great rifle right there you know so coming on down and seriously even like some of the places are actually kind of left hollow they're hollow for a reason but like i really don't have like anything bad to say about this guy at all or anything like that he is great like just really really awesome you know first off i'm just gonna go into like the the uh, movement here and everything like that you actually have like a 360 on a really tight leg uh, on a really tight joint right over here and a really tight le neck joint he actually just has like a slight down maybe a slight up he actually has like a universal uh, uh, hinge right over here i'm sorry um a rotational joint right over here and everything like that he actually has like a hinge and like uh, bicep rotation right over here so he actually has like pretty good movement around it everything like that again your copy may vary because I actually had to tighten up a lot on my double dealer and everything like that and I kind of wish that it wasn't like that with Hasbro and everything like that or Takara when it actually comes down to these figures but it is what it is and it didn't really spoil my whole entire enjoyment of the enjoyment of the figure because I actually did fix them as much as possible. There's still like a little bit more that I actually have to do on them and everything, but uh, there you go. So we actually have like a joint right over here by the bicep and everything like that. You'll notice the election, notice some of the flaking over here of like uh, some of the kikis that I was actually trying to use to like actually get them to work. Uh, let's see, you actually have like a bend right over here by the elbow and if you actually use this other joint it's like totally just like a double jointed elbow right over here so that's actually great i was actually really surprised to actually find like a wrist rotation here so that's actually awesome i really appreciate that you actually have like a 360 over here by the waist and everything like that so you could rotate it he actually kicks forward pretty cleanly he kicks back pretty cleanly also and everything like that. If you actually had these, uh, like uh, the tips of the wings down, he may actually be interrupted and everything like that. But like, uh, since I'm actually leaving them up, I don't mind that look whatsoever or anything like that. So yeah, there you go. He yeah, can actually kick fully out and everything like that. So you could actually get full Kung Fu action and everything, which is actually always super appreciated, you know? Also, we actually have like a 90 degree bend, right? Well, a little bit less than a 90 degree bend and everything like that. I'm pretty sure if, yeah, no, I, there isn't any way to like move it up. So he actually does have that. He actually has a broken ankle tilt, uh, tilt right over here. You know, there's nothing that actually supports like the, um, oh, that actually supports like the look and everything like that when he's actually tilting. Also, that's actually due to transformation and everything. So, like, aside from that, he's actually pretty good. Like, I really like him a lot, you know? So, this version of Double Dealer comes with a lot, you know? Like, I really do love how stocky this guy is. And I think I might have actually mentioned that a couple of times and everything like that. But I really like this a lot and everything. So, for, like, a quick comparison, I'm actually going to give you a comparison between Double Dealer here and Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnus does kind of like wind up to be like a little bit taller. I think Double Dealer is about the same width as say Ultra Magnus is and everything like that as far as like arms length and like uh, and leg length and everything. So if you're actually looking for like an expansion to like actually like raise Ultra Magnus's legs up a little bit higher and everything like that, I don't know if it's actually needed at this point and everything since we actually have like another another um, another uh, leader class and everything that comes around that same height and everything like that. Like everything that they actually succeeded on this that they actually lost on Shockwave, I think they've actually kind of like vindicated, uh, like Hasbro and uh, Takara actually kind of like vindicated themselves with this guy, you know? I really love everything about this. Also, the fact that he actually has this, like, is he an Autobot or is he a Decepticon? You know, only he knows. And again, he could have actually been like in being a double agent too long and everything, you know what I mean? Where he doesn't even know what he's actually doing anymore, you know? But look at this. I love the fact that they actually have this Decepticon symbol right over here on the top of his shoulders and everything like that. That's really really awesome you know and i love 
that so much and everything like that. All double agents, all good double agents should actually be able to do this. I know like uh, we actually had that on Jetfire. I appreciated that so much when you could actually like switch the faction symbols and everything like that. That's actually great, especially for a character like, uh, especially for a character like uh, Jetfire. And, uh, you know, with like counter punch, counter punch, you were actually able to like switch the whole entire robot mode and everything like that to another robot and everything. I mean, there's nothing better than another robot mode to hide your faction, you know? But like this is actually very cool. I guess like, you know, like in, in Eagle mode and everything like that, I guess like that'll actually be his Decepticon mode. I don't know. But like, this is great. Like, I really love it, you know? So let me just bring in Soundwave really quick as like another comparison. And the reason why I'm actually bringing in Soundwave is actually because of this. Like uh, you saw what I actually did with Ravage when I actually put him into like the cavity that was, uh, that was actually occupying this. So let's say take Laserbeak here and we'll eject him and we'll actually use him as the other portion of Double Dealer here because all you want to do is just bring this chest down and around. It doesn't lock any place and I kind of wish it did, but like once you actually get that there, you could actually take off his abdomen module here. And let's say where laser beak actually has this port right over here, this uh, peg right over here that you could actually put into a port to like actually make a shield. You could actually use him as like a new engine and everything. And I guess that was actually a part of like the whole God Master Force play value, you know? But that's actually very cool. And I really like that a lot. Like I kind of feel like this would actually be like the thing that would actually make me get the other, uh, the other figures that were actually in the, um, that were actually in the uh, Siege uh, Mini Bot Patrol pack and everything like that. Like, I really like this a lot. And um, yeah, it's actually very cool. It actually almost makes me feel as though this is actually kind of like incomplete. You know what I mean? Like, that's great. Like, just that, att that small attention to detail is actually like really wonderful. You could actually take this off. You could actually even leave him inside and everything like that. I can actually almost see the um, the Soundwave repaint coming from this and everything. You know what I mean? Just let me get my laser beak over here. Because, like, I can actually see, like, uh, like Hasbro and Takara actually coming into uh, Soundwave with, like, a little bit of, like, Machine Wars detail and everything like that. And we're kind of, like, making this, like, the new Soundwave for Earthrise and everything. I still am looking for the sound wave that they actually offered us in the pre-sales just the other day that actually just like went out in 3.5 seconds. I'm actually kind of cross about that, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. I am not going to talk about it right now, but this is awesome. I really love that. And, um, you know, if they actually even decided to do like, say like a, a select version of this guy as sound wave, as machine war sound wave, I wouldn't even like, I, I would think it would actually be pretty great. Would it be a part of my collection? I don't know, you know, but like uh, aside from that, like that's actually great. I love the play value. I love the cross play value that it actually has with like, say Soundwave over here, you know? So, and that's actually very cool. Like I love the ability, uh, I love the ability of like figures to be able to use like other figures from other parts of the line and everything like that. So like, that's actually really wonderful. You know, and also, um, to there. Now he's a Decepticon now. So there you go. He's hiding, you know what I mean? He's actually hiding his true Autobot mode, or is he really the Decepticon? You know, like I love that, you know? And also, I'm just going to bring in this version of Double Dealer here. This is actually the Voyager size uh, Double Dealer that we actually got when we actually had like, um, when we actually had the Generations line. And he's actually just as tall. I really wanna say that they're actually, I'd say this one's just like a smite heavier than this guy is and everything like that. You know what I mean? But like, He's actually really cool too, you know what I mean? Like I really love everything about this guy except for the fact that his his um, shoulders never really locked in and everything like that. So I kind of feel like this was kind of like Hasbro and Takara's like um, 
way of kind of like redeeming themselves with this double dealer, even though this guy is actually very cool in his own rights and everything. You know, he actually does come with like some light piping here and everything. I think you could actually see the slight glow as I'm actually kind of like moving him around and everything. You know, I kind of wish I actually had like another light right now and everything to show you what the light piping is because the light piping on this guy is actually brilliant, you know? They come in like two different hues of this teal here and everything like that. This one's actually kind of like more of a sky blue, kind of like a more than, than anything else. And this one actually comes out to be like more of a teal, oh, like more of a darker teal and everything more than anything else. So like, you know, that's great. Again, I really love the slavish detail that they actually put into this version of Double Dealer and everything like that because he's quickly like becoming one of my most uh, my one of my favorite figures of this whole entire line so far, you know? And um if you actually wanted to, like, I'm pretty sure, like, you could actually, like, use this sword right over here. I kind of, like, almost wish that the color matching was, like, a little bit better for this. But, like, still yet, though, he doesn't fit too badly or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, if you actually wanted to, like, give him more weaponry, I would tend to think that this sword would actually probably be, like, the last thing that you would actually need and everything like that. You know? You could actually kind of, like, put it over here for storage. Or you could actually kind of like put it this way, give him like more additional like laser blast and everything like that. You know what I mean? You could actually store it on his back over here also and everything, you know? So like the play value is actually endless for him and everything like that. I really, really, really like this guy a lot, you know? But um, that's my two cents on him. I really hope you actually enjoyed this like long ass video and everything like that because like this, guy actually kind of like really deserved like a little bit of time and attention and everything like that like i'm just gonna do a quick 360 this guy is stupendous you know what i mean so like <clears throat> I, I i'm just gonna end it for here like over here i'm gonna give you my final thoughts and i will be right back again thanks for joining me guys so as far as where double dealer is actually supposed to belong and everything I don't know where he belongs, actually. You know, like, I want to put him in with the rest of my Decepticon, with the rest of my Decepticon triple changers, but is he really a Decepticon? And I want to put him in with my Autobot double agents, but is he really an Autobot? I don't know, you know what I mean? So like, he's actually kind of like a hard person to actually look, uh, to actually put into like my collection here, where I'm not exactly sure exactly where he actually belongs or anything like that. He's supposed to be a mercenary on paper, you know? But again, does he know where he belongs anymore, you know? Like, right now, I'm actually kind of, like, playing around with space and everything like that. I actually have, like, a set of, like, Decepticon Seekers over here that, of, of Generation Decepticon Seekers that I'm kind of, like, feeling like I need to filter out now and everything because of the fact that we actually now have, like, the Voyagers uh, and the Seekers now and everything. And pretty soon, we're actually going to be getting Dirge and Ramjet. And hopefully, and I'm actually looking at you, Takara and Hasbro. Hopefully, we'll actually see, like, the, um, the eventual, uh, thrust and everything like that, because I would love that, you know? Hopefully, we'll actually see, like, so, like, maybe, uh, Acid Storm also and everything like that, kind of, like, with acid details and everything. Don't make him a select. Don't make him an exclusive, please, because, like, that would actually kind of be, like, kind of heartbreaking, really, you know what I mean? Like, why are you trying to hurt me? Anyway, so, I love this. I love this guy a lot. If you actually have, if you actually see him, he's actually pretty scarce out there right now. I'm not exactly sure what the future actually holds or anything like that, but if you actually see him, pick him up. I don't think he'll actually be upset or anything like that. And like I said before, loose joints aside, you're actually, if you can actually fix them, you can, if you actually get like the future floor polish, or if you actually get the Kiki's, if you actually get the Kiki's quick uh, fix loose joints, I think he's actually worth it, you know? For now, I'm just going to put him right over here until I actually figure out exactly where I'm going to put him. And even for this guy over here, I'm not exactly sure if I'm actually ready to let him go just yet or anything like that. So it might be take your kid to work day and everything like that. I just might the, like put them both together and everything, all to, you know what I mean? Because I really like the way they look together, you know? They kind of like look like they're actually kind of like a part of the same team all together, you know? 
Do you like me? Do you get what I'm saying? Anyway, so that's it for me, Diecast Norbs. And again, I really appreciate you all joining me once again in everything. And remember, when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. Also, try to be good to one another out there and everything, you know? Again, goodness and kindness are actually in short supply and everything like that. I see it in the news all the time and everything like that. Please be good to each other, be kind to each other, and um, just make sure you pay it forward, you know? Because the most galactically hooliganistic thing that you can actually do is being kind. So take care, and I will definitely talk to you soon.